Hi, I'm Auntie Kay, Yard Sales Arena, here with Uncle Vinti, the Vintage Tool Man, with the Yard Sales Show for April the 14th, 2011. It was a yucky, rainy weekend, and Uncle Vinti didn't want to go out, but I convinced him. I was very insistent, because often on those rainy days, you get some great bargains. And we did. One of our stops, I found this. It's a have a heart trap. Now, I have three cats. All three of those cats are feral cats, which means they are wild, and I had to trap them. I did that in the winter months when we have three to five feet of snow, which is really too much for the little guys. And that's Uncle Vinti showing you two of the three of the cats. So now I have my own cage and I can trap whatever cats I want. <laughs> And you bought that last week, remember? Oh, actually, yeah, the, the little bed that uh, the little bitty bits in, I have bought that at a yard sale, brand new, for a buck. And as you can see, it's being put to good use. <laughs> All right. The first stop was at what was supposed to be a community yard sale. However, there were only two people participating. But we found something. Actually, Uncle Vinti found this. It's a lawn play croquet by South Bend. This is from the 60s. The story goes that the woman's father won this in a contest and he never took it out of the box. It's still in the box. The box is still intact. I paid five dollars for this. I saw one online with a box that sold for 60, but I think this would be worth a little more because it's what you would refer to as new old stock. Brand new in the box. So that was great. The next uh, sale we went to was a moving sale, but they were not ready. The place was a mess. Uncle Vinti and I split up. He went into the garage that was packed to the gills with stuff, and I went out to some sheds that were on the back of the property. Um, the, the man had been a contractor and he had tons of items. I found this four foot fiberglass ladder by a company called Lynn, which is a local company here in Maryland. She sold this to me for $4. This sells for $70 new. I also found this scale, it's from Sears. I, I paid a buck for it, but it's something that we can use. It will come in very handy. It's a 25 pound scale. Now Actually, rest, we bundled all this. We did bundle everything. We ended up paying $20 for these two items and the tools that Uncle Vinti is going to show you right now. Okay. Included in the bundle with the ladder and scale, we got a arrow stapler with two boxes of staples, a Dewalt charger. Unfortunately, this Dewalt charger... It's, you've got it up in the air. ...does not... Uh, charge mm, my particular okay. battery. This is an XR, and my battery's XR, but this seems to be an older model. Uh, there are three two-inch rolls of tape, masking tape. Last week I got a miter saw. This is a, a guide block for the miter, stop block for the miter saw. So that, that's great. It didn't, you, your miter saw didn't have that on it. No, it didn't. The one he bought. This is a four and a half inch uh, grinder this is an off-brand. Uh, I recently saw that Harbor Freight had something similar on sale for ten dollars. So that's not worth a lot, but you needed that, right? It you works, don't have one of those. I, I don't have one. They actually use this a lot on um, American Chopper to cut sheet metal. Ah. And so I've never used it for that, but I'll try that and see how well that works. Also got five roof bent flashings in that $20. Uh, these are, are on the metal and you can pop these out. Uh, th these go go bad. I'm trying to hold the camera still. Th these rot and go bad on the roof, but you can pop these out and replace them. So we have one that, that needs to be replaced. So I got five of these, including that $20. And also, I got a, a break bar. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm it not uses doing a lot so for concrete work, I think. But I use it to lift logs when I'm uh, cutting a log with a chainsaw to get it off the ground. I also use it to... Where's the other end of it? 
way Dude. up there. How tall big, is that big, thing? Big up stumps. Whoa. How tall is that? How long is that it's thing? It's about six feet. Okay. All right. And the other day, I, I got my my uh, riding mort stuck in the in the gully and couldn't get it out and couldn't push it out. So I, I got my Look at the camera. My breaker bar and lodged this under the axle and moved it about six to ten inches at a time and got it out of the gully. So I wasn't these, there to help. These things are, are quite handy. Yes. And, you, and you won't bend them. Very and good. That's it for twenty dollars. That was good. Okay, next up swap back swap back out and I will take you guys through the next step. Okay. Okay, from there we went to a, a yard sale in Riva Trace in Annapolis, and they had some interesting items. They had an ammunition box for $10, an old Roger Williams milk can, this is a dairy in Rhode Island, this is an old antique milk can. It's rusty, but we will be able to use a little grinder and fix this up and paint it and it'll look wonderful. They had a couple of old cheese boxes. On this one, someone had taken an old uh, feed bag, feed sack, and put it on the top. It says Southern Seed, where the blue bonnets grow. They wanted $5 for that. There was another one there, another cheese box that someone had painted a duck on. They wanted $4 for that. Another item was this Steel King 250 pound ice scale. Now, Uncle Vinti's father and grandfather both had ice companies. So we will put this with the other ice picks and ice tongs and items that we have from those old companies. I think this will be a nice addition. Now, this used to be brass plated, but the brass plating has worn off. But we will paint this up and this will look really nice. Um, the last item there was this skill saw. It's a circular saw, 2.3 horsepower, $5. Uncle Vinti couldn't pass that up. Couldn't so, pass it up. So you add that up and that was $44, but we were able to negotiate all of those items for $35, which I thought was a great deal. Now, as we were leaving, the woman giving the sale noticed that I had a pair of Croc Mary Jane shoes on. And she said, look, I'm selling these. Would you like to have these? And ironically, they were my size. So I bought those. She sold those. They're brand new. She wore them a couple of times for $2. So I thought that was great. Something else that I bought previously that I neglected to show you was this hand-carved Santa. He's made out of wood, not resin like some of them are, and he is quite detailed. He's very nice, 50 cents. I have a collection of Santas that I've had for years. It's an easy thing for people to get you a Christmas gift, Santa. All right, I think that's it for me. Next up is Uncle Vinti with the rest of the tool items. Should we trap a cat? <laughs> yeah, you wanna be trapped? We'll see if the trap works, we'll test it out. Nancy K is a real trapper. I am a trapper. Look out. Actually, that cat didn't have to trap. We got that cat as a little bitty kitten. Just a little bitty, we poor little at thing. A, at a yard Oops. Sale. This was in Arnold? Arnold. I think it was, yes. Oh, this is a yard sale. I forgot to set this up. This yard sale in, on Craigslist had tools, 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 but unfortunately, we didn't get there till later in the day. But I got a few items. I got a hawk. This is for concrete mortar work. Show how you would hold it on the, with the handle. I have a homemade one I made with a plexiglass and a broom handle. This is a much more substantial handle, much more ergonomic. So you'd hold it and then you could shove your mortar or drywall. I use it for drywall, drywall compound. Okay. Drywall. A hawk. They wanted a dollar for that. I paid three three fifty for everything. Paid another dollar for the the these are Sears six inch wheels for a lawnmower. Okay. Got two of those. That's good. They're probably worth about five each. Okay. These are some strong tie Simpson strong tie uh, straps for connecting two before's or four before's for decking and so forth. I got five of those. Okay. 
Good. So all that for three fifty, and those are probably worth worth you know maybe a dollar each maybe. Uh, at another yard sale, we picked up some other tools. This is a shipbuilder's auger, drill auger. This is a builder manufacturing. It's for sheet metal. It's for nipping and, and bending sheet metal. Turn it sideways. It's hard to see. Yeah, that's a little better. Okay. And I got all this for $5. This is a, a forger's tool. Maybe a farrier used it. And a shoe stretcher. It has no markings on it. But okay. I got all that for $5. That's good. Pretty good deal. That was good. I also opened the same guy who bought a bow saw. Yeah, neat old bow saw. Paid five dollars for that as well. And those usually go for around thirty. So I think that was a pretty good deal we got. Is that it? I think that's it for yard sale for this was for the fourteenth <laughs> of May. Yes, that's it. We'll see you next time with more yard sale finds. Bye.